So normal people can use Tor to hide what they're doing online or in the sense that when they're visiting a website, their internet service provider, the person they're sharing their computer with, their employer, whoever else cannot see which websites they're visiting. And similarly, the websites that they're visiting cannot see that they are the ones visiting those websites. So you regain control of your privacy online by using this tool. On top of that, this tool is, is used by a lot of people, such as journalists and human rights activists, that need it for this additional level of security and anonymity. And with Tor, it's sort of a anonymity loves company in the sense that the more people that use it, the better off everyone is. So having normal people use Tor as well, it will just benefit everyone else who's using the same system. That is a really good question. I think it I think it comes down to why would you want to have everything you do online recorded by someone else? Why should someone be able to see what you're doing online? So a part of tour is the circumvention aspect. So if you're in a country or you're on a network where a certain website is blocked, you can use tour to circumvent that block. And that is really useful for a lot of people. I think, I think it's pretty well known now that everything you do online is being recorded and analyzed in some way, shape or form. And these companies, by, by collecting all of this information, can build up profiles about you to learn what you like and what you don't like and what kind of products you're buying online. And all of this information can say something about you that you haven't necessarily told a company, such as, for example, the story about how Target found out that a teenage girl was pregnant before her dad did because the products that she was buying online changed. She changed the way that she behaved when she was shopping at Target and by looking at what she was doing when she was buying these products, they managed to figure out a pattern.